Daniel Ricciardo will join Red Bull for 2023 as the team's reserve driver. Sergio Perez has denied he feels threatened by Daniel Ricciardo stealing his seat at Red Bull as the eight-time Grand Prix winner eyes an F1 return. Ricciardo pinned a deal as the team's reserve driver after being axed by McLaren last season. However, pundits have warned 2023 could see a battle develop between Perez and Ricciardo over who drives for the team going forward. Perez currently has a contract in place until the end of 2024 meaning a seat would be free in the next two years, however, Perez has refused to accept he is worried about Ricciardo who walked away from the team at the end of 2018. Perez said, no, when you are at Red Bull Racing, you're going to perform at your best. It doesn't matter if Daniel is here or not. Red Bull can take pretty much any driver they want in the grid. Ricciardo has previously admitted that his Red Bull deal does not include a clause over a possible race return with the team. Team boss Christian Horner also confirmed the team had no plans to use him other than as a third driver. However, Ricciardo stunningly admitted he had no interest in a race seat as he needed a break from the sport at Red Bull's launch last week. He told Sky Sports, I think really for me my mindset is to really try and help the team. I will give everything I can in the simulator. The races I go to will be in the meetings and I have no problem talking to Max and Checo, Perez, trying to share any insights and try to be the best team member I can. That's really where my head's at. I think as well because I personally I do really want the time off. I am not waiting like, give me that chance. I am very happy to be where I am at right now. The 33-year-old will be a major part of the team's promotional work and help in the simulator. He will get to drive at tire test events and is set to make a range of appearances in the paddock this season. But, F1 pundit Karun Chandhok struggles to accept Ricciardo has joined the team just to sit on the sidelines. The former F1 driver commented, I think Daniel versus Checo is an interesting fight for the 24 seat. How do they evaluate Daniel? That's what I'm interested to see because, yeah, they can put them in the simulator, but it's not the same as driving the old car, so, will they give him a go in a test somewhere? That's what I'd like to see, is how do they genuinely evaluate Daniel Ricciardo today?